Hi, how are you guys doing? This is Jonathan. In today's video, I'm going to feature this. This is the Line 6 Helix. I realized that I haven't made a video about this unit as of today. And uh, well, the reason why is because there's a whole bunch of videos about the he Lysics Helix out there that I didn't feel the need to. I decided to do this video because of the 2.9 update that just arrived for the Helix. And I thought I'll just um, share a little bit about this unit and how it uh, has blessed me so far from my, for my live gigs and for my recordings. So just a brief history. Line 6 came out with the port in 1998 and I bought that and I used it extensively for many, many studio sessions. And then it came out with the port 2 and subsequent the other ports that, you know, that's out. And they came out with a floorboard which is called the port L, uh, XT Live. You know? And I used that for a long time, you know. And then the X3 came out and I used that for even longer. I, I, I think I used it for like six, seven years. I skipped a whole generation. I skipped the HD and subsequently the Helix arrived in 2015 and it was five years ago. Now to date, uh, the Helix is still relevant. Why? Because of the uh, updates that we've been getting from Line 6. Constantly, constant updates, you know. And it's incredible. They keep on adding like new amps, new caps, new effects, you know, new way to tweak and new way to, to expand the capability of this unit. And it's just like mind blowing, right? Um, I had the unit in 2018. You know, I bought the LT and uh, subsequently change it to a Helix full blown uh, floorboard. Now the difference between the LT and the floorboard is because of the strips. You know, these are all strips which makes it visually uh, easier for you to know uh, which patch you're in and which effects you're, 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 you're on and which, which effects are off. So that's about it. Um, the back panel is about the same uh, with the LT. LT and, and the full blown is about the same. 
And the, the crazy part about the, 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 the LTE is it, it, it can actually function as an interface. You know, and this acts as an interface even. You can actually record this, uh, plug in a mic, you know, playing guitar and you can actually uh, record it to your computer. But in a live situation, I can actually plug in my acoustic guitar in here and still get by without using a separate um, or DI or anything like that, a, se a separate rig, you know. I could just have it all on this Helix on stage if I, if I choose to. And it will work. Um, you know, a whole bunch of outs, you know, so, you know, it's capable of so many things, right? Uh, direct recording, uh, recording to an amp uh, with the FRFR, you know, direct to house. You, you can use a whole lot of stuff with this and, and it's incredible. Now, the Helix ecosystem is pretty interesting. You have uh, the Helix, the Helix LT, and then you have the, the HS Stomp, you know, which I reviewed a couple of videos back. And then you have the HX, uh, HX Effects, where basically it's just a, 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 a collection of effects, and uh, you can actually change a whole lot of stuff with it. It's pretty interesting. And then there is the Helix Rack, where uh, it's mainly used in the studio where you, you don't want it to be around the floor, you just rack it up. And they have a control uh, floorboard for you to actually activate the effects, just like a Helix. So this is pretty cool. Uh, if I have a big studio, I'll probably buy a Helix rack. <laughs> uh, okay, in any case. And then comes the um, Helix Native. Now, most of the recording you heard uh, on my videos are all done with the Helix Native. Um, and it's, it works as a, a plug-in for my door with uh, my digital audio workstation and it works it works perfectly. Um, there's no worries about you know whether I'm lacking of DSP power because uh, the Helix Native is totally dependent on your computer, whether it's a Mac OS or Windows. No, no if, your, if your computer is running real fast and you have enough RAM, you don't have to be afraid. Uh, you can do a whole lot of stuff there and not, you know, stall on you. The reason why this is so heavy and why it costs a little bit more than the Stomp, you know, is because there's a whole lot of DSP power in it, you know, and you can actually do a whole lot of stuff in here. I'm always like, you know, uh, intrigued by what this unit can do. And to tell you the truth, I've just touched like maybe 45 to 55% of its total capabilities. There's a whole lot of stuff I haven't uh, touched on. Like for example, snap, you know, the snapshot. Um, why? Because I basically use this as a pedal board for, uh, for the stage. And there's only so much I can use on the stage. Uh, I don't need a looper, although it has the capability to do looping. You know, I, I don't need all this uh, the snapshot because I'm basically changing uh, patches and in between the patches I can actually turn off and off uh, various effects. Well, it features basically 72 amps, right? And um, 37 cabinets. So you can have a mixture of amps and cabinet. You can have a selection of, say for example, using a deluxe, uh, Fender Deluxe amp, and then you use a greenback, a, 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 a 412 or a 410s. Or you can use a little tiny, tiny little speaker. You know, the, the, the imagination is, is just you. It's up to you what you want to uh, come up with. And you, you can have, you can spend a whole lot of time like twigging and trying to find the holy grail of your ultimate sound. And that's this unit. This is what this unit is all about. It gives you a whole lot of options, right? And it also features 194 effects and 16 microphones, right? 16 microphone simulations and 194 effect simulation. Stuff that range from, from uh, plate reverb to like your, 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 your tube screamer, <laughs> you know, to various other stuff like, you know, the, 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 the chorus, the tri-chorus and stuff like that. It's, it's incredible. And you, you can have this whole effects change, uh, chain uh, going and still have room for more. <laughs> That's the beautiful part of it. Now, the reason why I find the Helix so attractive to me uh, for stage as well as for recording is that I can do by amp, you know, a twin amp setup. I could use, say, a Marshall on my left side and a Mesa Boogie on my right hand side. And I could even have like different, different effects on each from each amps, like, you know, I could use uh, a different chorus on my Mesa Boogie and a different chorus on my Marshall and different reverb and delay and whatever. Um, that would, that would, that would like, you know, uh, use a lot of DSP. So yeah, normally I would just use it by amp and then I would, you know, chain it, um, route it down to a, a, a effects channel so that I don't use too much DSP. 
and um, for me that works, you know. And I, I'm I'm pretty stuck with that sound, so <laughs> so uh, it's crazy. I'm, I'm spoiled. Basically, I'm just spoiled. You know, gone are the days where you know I'll just have like effects, effects, and then a, a amp and an amp simulator. You know, amp simulator and a cap simulator and all mono, right? And maybe the stereo the reverb, you know, or the stereo uh, delay and, and, and the reverb. And that's about it. Now I'm going like two amps, you know, left and right stream. So it, it, it's pretty crazy. So this is the Helix, you know, and you have uh, the Helix Storm, which basically has about about 50% of the DSP power of the main main Helix. And then you have, um, well, the rest of it, like, you know, the, the, the HS effects and the Helix Native. Now, the Helix Native is a godsend for me because um, as I'm doing uh, recordings at home in my production world or in session, you know, I don't even have to break out this heavy, heavy unit out just to record. This unit weighs about 6.6 kg, you know, about 14 over pounds. And it's crazy, you know, and... To break it out every time I need to do recording is such a hassle. So the Helix Native is a godsend to me. So the, the Helix ecosystem is such a way that you can choose which one to get the Helix rack for your studio, you know, if you like to touch stuff. <laughs> and uh, the, the Helix Native, you know, so you access a plugin or the Helix floorboard for your live work as well as your know, session work if you're gonna record in another studio. Now, certain studios do not have the Helix Rack. Certain studios do not have the Helix Native in their door. So, bring this along. And uh, it even has a, a backpack, you know, which I featured a couple of videos back too. It, it even, like, you know, Lysix even uh, sell the backpack for this. It's crazy. So, if you want to check out the Helix, go and check out the various videos out there in YouTube. Uh, there's this guy called Jason Sedai, and uh, he, he comes up with the best our uh, videos about the Helix, uh, how to build a patch, how to get your tone, um, even down to how you use a compressor, you know, to the various um, routing and stuff like that. That, that guy is incredible. So check him out, right? So I hope you get insight uh, into what I use for my recordings and for my videos. You know, uh, this unit, the Helix is not cheap, you know, and neither is it really expensive. Say so it costs about a thousand over US dollars. And if you're a full-time um, musician, I think it's worthwhile getting it. But then again, some of you guys might want to go for other brands like Factro and, and whatnot. Um, for me, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just a sucker for, for, for anything that's from Line 6. <laughs> you know, uh, the company has uh, treated its users well and five years down the road is still updating this unit you know and it's incredible so hope you enjoyed this video if you do give me a thumbs up and uh, post your questions if you need to ask uh, in the comment section down below so i'll see you again uh, in the next uh, video and make sure you subscribe to this channel right you guys take care ciao